Hey there, you're looking kind of cute. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other socials for more. Enjoy. Lillian stared at her reflection in the mirror. A small smile tugged at the corners of her mouth. The hormones were working their magic, slowly but surely transforming her body to match the girl she'd always known herself to be. A buzz from her phone broke the silence. A text from Cheryl lit up the screen. You got this, girl. Remember, your dad loves you no matter what. Lillian's stomach clenched. Today was the day. After years of hiding, of pretending to be someone she wasn't, she was finally going to tell her father the truth. She was going to introduce him to his daughter. Thanks, Cher. I'm terrified, but I know I have to do this. She typed back with trembling fingers. Want me to come over for moral support? Lillian considered the offer for a moment. No, I think this needs to be just me and dad. But can I call you after? Of course. I'll be waiting by the phone. Love you, Lil. Love you too. Lillian set the phone down and took a deep breath. She smoothed down the sundress she'd carefully chosen for the occasion. Nothing too flashy, just a simple floral print that felt like her. She'd debated whether to go full femme for this conversation or to ease her father into it. But in the end, she decided that if she was going to do this, she was going to do it as her true self. The sound of a car pulling into the driveway made her heart leap into her throat. This was it. No turning back now. Hey, kiddo, I'm home. Her father's voice boomed from downstairs. You wanted to talk about something? Lillian closed her eyes, stealing herself. Coming, Dad, she called back, wincing at how her voice cracked. She cleared her throat and tried again, pitching her voice higher. Be right down. She took one last look in the mirror, tucked a stray strand of her growing hair behind her ear, and headed for the stairs. Each step felt like lead, but she forced herself to keep moving. Her father was waiting in the living room, still in his work clothes, a look of curiosity on his face. What's all this about, son? You sounded pretty serious on the phone. His voice trailed off as Lillian came into view. She watched as confusion, then shock, then a mix of emotions she couldn't quite read flashed across his face. Hi, Dad she said softly, her voice barely above a whisper. For a long moment, neither of them spoke. The ticking of the clock on the wall seemed deafening in the silence. Finally, her father found his voice. What? What is this? He gestured vaguely at her outfit, his brow furrowed. Lillian took a deep breath. Dad, I, I need to tell you something. Something I've known for a long time, but haven't had the courage to say. She moved to sit on the couch, leaving space for her father to join her if he chose. He remained standing, his posture stiff. I'm transgender, Dad. I'm... I'm a girl. I always have been, even if my body didn't match. I've been on hormones for a while now, and this is who I am. Who I've always been. The words hung in the air between them. Lillian watched her father's face, trying to gauge his reaction, his jaw clenched and unclenched, his hands bawling into fists at his sides. Is this some kind of joke? He finally managed, his voice tight. Lillian shook her head, feeling tears prick at the corners of her eyes. No, Dad, it's not a joke. It's who I am. Her father ran a hand through his hair, pacing the length of the living room. But you've always been my little boy. We played catch in the backyard. We went fishing. How can you be a girl? I'm still me, Dad, Lillian said, her voice wavering. I still love all those memories we made together. But I was always pretending, always trying to be what I thought you wanted me to be. It was killing me inside. Her father stopped pacing, turning to look at her with a mix of anger and confusion. And you think this is better? You think dressing up like this and and taking drugs is going to make everything okay? Lillian flinched at his words, but held her ground. It's not about making everything okay, Dad. It's about being honest with myself and with you. I can't keep living a lie. A lie? Her father's voice rose. So our entire relationship has been a lie? Everything we've done together, everything I thought I knew about my child? No! Lillian stood up, 
reaching out to her father, but he stepped back. That's not what I meant. I'm still your child. I still love you. I'm just... I'm your daughter, not your son. Her father shook his head, his face a storm of emotions. I can't... I can't deal with this right now. I need some air. He turned and strode towards the door, grabbing his keys from the hook. Dad, please? Lillian called after him, her voice breaking. Can we talk about this? But the only response was the slam of the front door and the sound of his car starting up and peeling out of the driveway. Lillian collapsed back onto the couch, the tears she'd been holding back finally spilling over. She reached for her phone with shaking hands, dialing Cheryl's number. Lil, how did it go? Cheryl's concerned voice came through the speaker. He, he left, Lillian managed between sobs. He couldn't even look at me, Cher. He just left. Oh, honey, I'm coming over right now. Don't move, okay? Lillian nodded, forgetting for a moment that Cheryl couldn't see her. Okay, she whispered. She ended the call and curled up on the couch, hugging a pillow to her chest as she cried. This wasn't how it was supposed to go. She'd known it would be difficult, but she hadn't expected her father to just walk out like that. The minutes ticked by slowly until a knock at the door roused her from her misery. She opened it to find Cheryl standing there, arms open wide. Lillian fell into her friend's embrace, fresh tears spilling onto Cheryl's shoulder. Shh, it's okay. Cheryl soothed, stroking Lillian's hair. Let's get you inside, all right? They settled on the couch, Cheryl keeping an arm around Lillian's shoulders as she recounted what had happened. He'll come around, Lil, Cheryl said when Lillian had finished. He just needs time to process. This is a big change for him, too. Lillian nodded, wiping her eyes. I know. I just... I hoped he'd at least try to understand. He will. Cheryl assured her. He loves you. That doesn't change just because you're his daughter instead of his son. They sat in companionable silence for a while, the ticking of the clock the only sound in the room. As the sky outside began to darken, Lillian's phone buzzed with a text. Her heart leapt when she saw it was from her father. Coming home? We need to talk. Lillian showed the message to Cheryl, a mix of hope and fear on her face. Do you want me to stay? Cheryl asked. Lillian considered for a moment, then shook her head. No, I think, I think I need to do this part on my own. But thank you for everything. Cheryl gave her one last hug before leaving. Call me if you need anything, okay? Any time, day or night. Lillian nodded, watching as her friend drove away. Then she turned back to the house, straightening her dress and taking a deep breath. Whatever happened next, she knew she had to face it head on. The sound of her father's car pulling into the driveway sent a fresh wave of anxiety through her. She heard the car door slam, then footsteps on the porch. The front door opened slowly. Her father stood in the doorway, looking tired and conflicted. His eyes met hers, and for a moment, neither of them spoke. Can we sit down? He finally asked, his voice gruff. Lillian nodded, moving to the couch. Her father took the armchair across from her, leaning forward with his elbows on his knees. I've been driving around for hours, he began, trying to make sense of all this. I, I don't understand it, to be honest, but I've been thinking about something your mother used to say. Lillian's breath caught in her throat at the mention of her mother, who had passed away when Lillian was young. She always said that our job as parents was to love our child unconditionally and help them become the best version of themselves, her father continued. I thought I knew what that meant, but maybe, maybe I've been looking at it all wrong. He looked up at Lillian, his eyes shining with unshed tears. I don't understand this, and I can't pretend that I'm okay with it right now, but you're my child, and I love you. That hasn't changed. Lillian felt her own tears welling up again. I love you too, Dad, she whispered. Her father nodded, then cleared his throat. So, uh, do you have a name you want me to call you? A smile broke through Lillian's tears. Lillian, she said. I'd like to be called Lillian. 
Her father nodded again, testing the name out. Lillian. Okay, I... I can't promise I'll get it right all the time, but I'll try. That's all I ask, Lillian said softly. They sat in silence for a moment, the air between them charged with unspoken emotions and questions. Finally, her father spoke again. Can you... can you tell me more about this? How long have you known? What does it mean for... for your future? Lillian took a deep breath, relief washing over her at her father's willingness to listen. I've known for as long as I can remember, Dad. I just didn't have the words for it when I was younger. As for the future, I want to transition fully. Live as a woman all the time, not just in secret. Her father nodded slowly, processing this information. And the hormones you mentioned? Are they safe? Are you seeing a doctor? Yes, Lillian assured him. I'm under medical supervision. It's all above board, I promise. Okay, her father said, running a hand through his hair. Okay, this is... It's a lot to take in, but we'll figure it out together. Okay? Lillian? Hearing her name from her father's lips for the first time brought fresh tears to Lillian's eyes. She nodded, unable to speak past the lump in her throat. Her father stood up, awkwardly holding out his arms. Can I... Would it be okay if I hugged you? Lillian didn't hesitate, rushing into her father's embrace. For the first time in years, she felt truly seen and accepted by him. It wasn't perfect, and she knew there would be challenges ahead, but it was a start. As they pulled apart, her father cleared his throat again. So, uh, what do we do now? Lillian couldn't help but laugh, the tension of the day finally breaking. How about we order a pizza and watch a movie? Just like old times. Her father smiled a hint of the familiar twinkle returning to his eyes. Sounds good to me, kiddo. You pick the movie. I'll call for the pizza. As her father went to grab the phone, Lillian sent a quick text to Cheryl. It went okay. We're talking. Thank you for everything. She settled onto the couch, feeling lighter than she had in years. There was still a long road ahead, but for the first time, she felt like she could walk it as her true self, with her father by her side. The next few weeks were a whirlwind of changes and adjustments. Lillian and her father had many late night conversations, sometimes heated, sometimes tearful, but always ending with a reaffirmation of their love for each other. Her father asked questions, did research, and even attended a support group for parents of transgender children. The biggest hurdle came when Lillian decided it was time to come out at school. She'd been slowly changing her appearance over the past few months, but now she wanted to make it official. The morning of her first day presenting as Lillian at school, she stood in front of her mirror, adjusting her blouse nervously. Her father appeared in the doorway, a tentative smile on his face. You look beautiful, Lillian, he said, his voice only slightly hesitant on her name. Lillian turned to him, her eyes wide with anxiety. What if they don't accept me? What if they're cruel? Her father's face hardened with determination. Then we'll deal with it together. I've already spoken to the principal and your teachers. They're on board and ready to support you. Lillian felt a rush of gratitude for her father's support. She hugged him tightly. Thank you, Dad, for everything. He hugged her back, then held her at arm's length. You're my daughter, and I'm proud of you. Now go show them who you really are. With a deep breath, Lillian grabbed her backpack and headed out the door. Her father insisted on driving her to school, wanting to be there for moral support. As they pulled up to the school, Lillian saw Cheryl waiting for her at the entrance. Her friend waved enthusiastically, a bright smile on her face. You've got this, her father said, giving her hand a squeeze. And remember, I'm just a phone call away if you need me. Lillian nodded, stealing herself before getting out of the car. She walked towards Cheryl, acutely aware of the stares and whispers from her classmates. Cheryl enveloped her in a hug. You look amazing, Lil, ready to knock their socks off? Lillian laughed nervously. As ready as I'll ever be, I guess. They walked into the school together, Cheryl chattering away about inconsequential things, trying to keep Lillian's mind off the stares and whispers that followed them down the hallway.
At her locker, a group of Lillian's former teammates from the boys' soccer team approached. She tensed, preparing for the worst. Hey, one of them said awkwardly. So, uh, is it true? You're a girl now? Lillian straightened her shoulders, looking him in the eye. I've always been a girl. I'm just not hiding it anymore. The boys exchanged glances, then the one who had spoken shrugged. Cool. Uh, good luck, I guess. As they walked away, Lillian let out a breath she hadn't realized she'd been holding. It wasn't acceptance, exactly, but it wasn't rejection, either. The day was a roller coaster of emotions. Some teachers stumbled over her name, quickly correcting themselves. Some students whispered and pointed, while others came up to express their support. By lunchtime, Lillian felt emotionally drained. She sat with Cheryl and a few other friends who had rallied around her. As she picked at her food, she felt a tap on her shoulder. She turned to see Emily, a girl she'd had a crush on for years standing there. Hi, Emily said, smiling shyly. I just wanted to say, I think you're really brave. And um, if you ever want to hang out or talk or whatever, I'm here. Lillian felt a warmth spread through her chest. Thanks, Emily. That, that means a lot. As Emily walked away, Cheryl nudged Lillian with her elbow, wiggling her eyebrows suggestively. Lillian laughed, feeling some of the tension of the day melt away. The final bell couldn't come soon enough. As Lillian walked out of the school, she saw her father's car waiting in the parking lot. She practically ran to it, collapsing into the passenger seat with a heavy sigh. How did go, sweetheart? Her father asked, concern evident in his voice. Lillian thought for a moment. It was hard, but also good in some ways. I think, I think it's going to be okay. Her father reached over and squeezed her hand. I'm proud of you, Lillian. So proud. As they drove home, Lillian felt a sense of peace settle over her. There would be more challenges ahead, she knew. But for the first time in her life, she felt like she was truly living as herself. The months flew by, each day bringing new challenges and triumphs. Lillian found herself growing more confident, more comfortable in her own skin. Her classmates, for the most part, had accepted her transition, and while there were still occasional whispers or looks, they became less frequent as time went on. Her father continued to be her rock, attending P-flag meetings and educating himself about transgender issues. He even surprised Lillian one day by suggesting they go shopping for a prom dress together. I may not know much about fashion, he'd said with a sheepish grin, but I want to be there for this milestone. Prom night arrived, and Lillian stood in front of the mirror, hardly recognizing the young woman staring back at her. Her dress, a flowing blue gown that matched her eyes, sparkled in the light. Her hair, now past her shoulders, was styled in elegant waves. You look stunning, her father said from the doorway, his voice thick with emotion. Lillian turned to him, her eyes shining. Thanks, Dad, for everything. He enveloped her in a hug, careful not to muss her hair or makeup. I'm so proud of you, Lillian. Your mother would be too. As they pulled apart, both wiping away tears, the doorbell rang. Lillian's heart leapt. It was Emily, her date for the night. Her father answered the door, greeting Emily warmly. Lillian descended the stairs, feeling like a princess in a fairy tale. Emily's eyes widened as she saw her, a bright smile spreading across her face. You look amazing, Emily breathed. Lillian blushed, taking in Emily's sleek black dress. So do you. After the obligatory photos and her father's playful warnings to Emily to have Lillian home by midnight, they were off. The night was magical, dancing, laughing with friends, stealing quiet moments alone with Emily under the stars. As the last song played, Emily pulled Lillian close. I'm so glad you're you, she whispered. The real you. Lillian felt her heart swell. She leaned in, their lips meeting in a soft, sweet kiss. It was everything she'd ever dreamed of, and more. The weeks after prom flew by in a blur of final exams and graduation preparations. Before Lillian knew it, she was standing in line with her classmates, waiting to receive her diploma. 
As she walked across the stage, she heard her father's voice above the crowd, cheering loudly. She turned to wave at him, seeing tears in his eyes even from a distance. The principal handed her the diploma, saying clearly into the microphone, Congratulations, Lillian Anderson. Hearing her name, her true name, announced publicly filled Lillian with a joy she couldn't describe. She'd done it. She'd graduated as herself, as the young woman she'd always known she was. After the ceremony, her father found her in the crowd, pulling her into a fierce hug. I'm so proud of you, Lillian, he said, his voice choked with emotion. So incredibly proud. Lillian hugged him back just as tightly. I couldn't have done it without you, Dad. Thank you for loving me, for accepting me. As they pulled apart, Emily appeared at Lillian's side, slipping her hand into Lillian's. Her father smiled at them both. So what's next for you two? He asked. Lillian and Emily exchanged a glance, both grinning. We're both headed to state in the fall, Lillian said. New adventures await. Her father nodded, a hint of sadness in his smile. My little girl, all grown up and heading off to college. Where did the time go? Lillian leaned into her father's side, feeling Emily's hand squeeze hers. Don't worry, Dad. I'll always be your little girl. Just, you know, a slightly more grown-up version. As they laughed together, Lillian felt a sense of peace wash over her. The road hadn't been easy, and she knew there would be more challenges ahead. But standing there, surrounded by the love of her father and her girlfriend, she knew she could face anything. She was Lillian Anderson, proud, strong, and finally truly herself. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other socials if you want more wonderful content, early access, behind the scenes, and more. All links down below.